Hello everyone, it's Kay. So, how is it going today? So, in today's video, let me talk about uh, the BNF again as to what I learned from him and what I respect about him and how I apply his mindset in my trades. Actually, in the past, I have posted two videos about BNF and I put the link on the description below. But um, there's a playlist called a legendary Japanese trader in my YouTube channel and in the past I have posted these two videos about BNF and, and ever since I posted th these two videos I got lots of messages by email about him and that's why I decided to record another video to talk about him today and for those who are new to my channel my name is K, like a letter K and I am a full-time Japanese forex trader here in based Tokyo, Japan. And I share knowledges and analysis by Ichimoku Kinkohyo and my strategy on my strategy called KTS in this channel every day. So if you don't want to miss any of the future lives and videos, please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day in different topics. So as a quick disclaimer, this information is basically based on my understanding and experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So today's topic is about the BNF again. So I will talk about his personality and also his trail style and also what I learned and how I apply them into my trace analysis. And by the way, BNF is the nickname and his real name is um, Takashi Kotegawa but um, I in respect of his request to call himself BNF I just call him BNF uh, looks like uh, in outside of Japan the real name his real name is as, as famous as this nickname BNF but because of his request in respect I call him BNF on this video so that's for your information. So first of all, um, let me touch on some of his personality in his own words. So I will introduce four words today, four quotes of him. And uh, so here is one of them. I put the words in English and this is the original Japanese words of him. So if you understand Japanese, you can uh, read this one too in Japanese. So, um, first of all, I think he's an introvert, right? especially when it comes to trading, he's an introvert because when he talks about his own trades, he's very much into himself. And I mean, there is a famous online forum called 2Channel, or we call Nichannel in Japanese. And in there, he wrote lots about his strategies and feelings and emotions. And as I've read all the words, He's very much an introvert and really focusing on himself. So he puts his own words uh, as if he's talking about uh, the market and as he as if talk, he's talking to himself, looking back his own trades and moving forward to the next trades. And this is one of the characteristic I like about him. And in fact, he says like this, he says, I just trade stocks in the middle of the room alone and know nothing about what's happening around the world. I have money, but it doesn't mean I'm a valuable person. And he says like this, and I think it's true. And uh, because when I was still a newbie, uh, I used to think too much about my trace, especially when I was losing. I really think about it too much to the extent that I got dis depressed for the first two years sometimes. I get depressed. And when I got depressed by these losses, uh, you know, I read some books about this mental management, or I was listening to this uh, nice and calm music alone, and so on. I try to experiment all these alone myself and talk to myself, listen to my own heart, so to speak. And I was kind of, uh, you know, um, investigating myself, my emotion and feelings. And it helped. It helped a lot. So I know myself more in that way. And so that's why I 
agree with his statement because that's exactly how I overcame my losses in the past. Especially when I was losing for the first two years, that's how I overcame my losses, the pain of the losses to talk in uh, to uh, to talk uh, to myself. So I agree with the statement that uh, you know when I'm so much into things, some things um, I tend to forget about everything else. And also I agree with the statement that money doesn't uh, make a person valuable because it's not what it's all about. And also, let me introduce his another word. He says uh, like this. He says, for the last seven years since I started taking trays, I hardly go outside. And besides taking trays, I either watch internet, TV, or animes. So, you know how much he has been focusing on trading itself. And actually, there are more and more words on the two channel, the online forum in Japan. And as I looked and read his words, I can feel how much he has been into the analysis and trades every day. So it tells us about the importance of taking time to think and ponder and deeply focus on what you do uh, in tradings. He never depends on someone else, someone else's advice, never uses EAs or robots but all the analysis were done all by himself manually and take trades manually by himself. So he only shares his techniques on the internet forum, online forum, but never held any seminars or educational services under his name whatsoever. So that's why I think he's pretty much introvert, focusing into himself, learning himself alone, and uh, that's how I got these all the assets. And also, in fact, he says like this. He says, um, I don't like to be affected by someone else's opinions. So my style is purely based on my own experience. And actually, I read this statement when I was losing overtime for the last two years. Uh, for the first two years, I was losing overtime when I was buying all these paid indicators, EAs, and signal services. And because all I was looking for was where to buy and where to sell in the market until I blew one account and had um, drawdown 50% on the second account. Yeah, that was my focus. Where to buy, where to sell was only the forecast when I was focusing on these scalpings. I used to have like six panels in front of me now I only have one panel in front of me, much, much simplified right now. But back in those days, I still remember I was always looking at charts, very stressful. And um, my focus was where to buy, where to sell constantly. And especially, like I said before, when I had losses, I depressed myself. So I still remember when I read this statement, it struck my mind and thought, I have to find my own strategy by my own because the answer is not in others. Then I started to restudy the price action and the candlestick patterns and lines, all the basics from scratch, um, as well as Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. Um, originally, I knew a little bit about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, but um, I didn't really get into it. So after these two years of losing, uh, years um, I restudied all these basics including Ichimoku and eventually it made me profit over time now so now that I see this statement I know BNF is right because we are not here to be affected by others I mean it's okay I mean it's okay to refer to someone else's techniques and advices and take some good points about strategies and mindset but uh, the point is never be able to copy 100% on somebody else's strategies it's my truth and that's exactly um, the intention of mine to teach my strategies in my global trading school and also on this YouTube channel um, I don't want the students to believe my strategy but instead I want um, I would like them to um, I would like to teach 
and share how I read and analyze the market over time so that they get the essence of it and become a profitable trader after all by uh, after a practicing over over again and get the ideas based on their own trade experiences so yeah this word actually helped me a lot to become a profitable trader and that's why i decided to introduce this word uh, as a valuable quote from bnf and if you purely master the strategy based on your own experience it becomes your lifetime asset um, but if you borrow somebody's strategy or if you keep using somebody else's strategy or if you just follow somebody else's strategy just copy it then if that person or if that uh, you know indicator goes away then um, you cannot take trades you have to start to look for another winning strategy so and I don't want to do that actually so let me share with you um, another word of BNF that I respect the most he says like this also he says eventually I was able to execute trades extremely quickly my hands moves uh, by itself without navigating it and as I watch I think of myself that this is not a machine right this is a machine not my hands um, so this is the state when you get used to something for example uh, riding a bicycle uh, before you ride a bicycle you might have felt it's extremely difficult uh, you trip over many times uh, when you are a little kid when you first try to start to ride a bicycle you trip over uh, you know over time and you get wounds on the bodies but uh, once you get used to it it becomes impossible to trip over anymore because your body naturally adapts to take balance so I think it's the same thing in trading also BNF takes trades as if uh, he doesn't trade by himself because his hands move automatically almost like a uh, spinal re reflection so to speak but uh, this truly shows how great he is in his uh, in terms of uh, the trade uh, trade mastery and that's why we respect him so much in Japan for all the efforts he put into the tradings over time and that's what I really enjoy when we read this uh, his words on this online forum to channel so um, actually there are so many other words um, that I would like to introduce but um, I will just introduce these four words for in this video and I will share more and more uh, wisdom of him on my future videos so um, what I really would like to say today about BNF mindset is that first learn from your own trades so let me go to the next slide so learn from your own trades is the first key to success as per his words and of course you can learn knowledge from books and videos like this but after all it's you that you need to make decisions so until you become confident you keep learning from your own trade experience so make sure uh, make sure you track your records you put the buy where to uh, when you bought it when you sold it and uh, when you put the stop loss uh, please uh, write it down and also when you exit write it down with a screenshot and um, add the comment like how you felt about it and how you what you learned about these winning trades or losing trades make sure you write what you learned on your trading journal which is very important and also uh, keep uh, your own rules right for example my rules are when market goes against my against my scenario I cut loss immediately no matter what and never trade when I don't feel like trading although I see a trending market I don't look at it if I don't feel like it that's my another rule and also uh, be alone when uh, taking trades without any distractions which is also important um, I take trades where there is no music just myself alone in the room in uh, myself and take trades that's my rule 
and also um, what else uh, never trade against the trend is also my rule and always look for the reasons to trade <clears throat> I never go instinct intuitive trades I never do that always I look for the reasons to take trades otherwise I won't take it and also always make sure to put the stop losses under the rule and uh, break even and try out the profit etc and also uh, do my best to keep my rules is my rule also and these are my rules and it should be different depending on the individual's uh, trading habits and personalities because we're all different but these are actually you know um, these are um, uh, you can come up these with these rules once you know yourself without uh, without knowing yourself you cannot create the rules like this so my rules are like this because these were the losses I had in the past and that's why you know w when there was a you know music going on loud music going on with lots of people I took trade and lost so um, these are all based on my experience so make sure you create your rules based on your personality and characteristic which is also important and lastly uh, be flexible to the market right as Goichi Hosoda says the creator of Ichimoku Kinkohyo he says uh, surrender to the market so be flexible to the market um, and this is something that I mentioned earlier on the previous lives and videos the market does not move as you expect because you're not the one who control the market so learn to be flexible to the market and learn to be um, able to identify what's working and what's not working in the current market and the, the only focus right only focus on what's working at that time and uh, in order to have more chances to know what's working in the market knowledge definitely helps so for example Ichimoku helps you to identify um, whether the market is trending or ranging whether um, the equilibrium is uh, buying side or bullish uh, sell, seller side bullish side bearish side you can know it by Ichimoku Kinkohyo and also if the market is worth to buy or not you can tell from Ichimoku so you will be able to identify all these if you master Ichimoku Kinkohyo so whether uh, whatever indicators you use uh, whether it's MA or a Bollinger Bands uh, or MACD, RSI or you name it uh, whichever the market indicators you use try to be able to identify what's working and what's not working on the market and only focus on what's working at that moment because that's also a part of the discipline and be flexible to the market meaning when you see the end of the trend then simply stop taking trades or when you see the strategy or the indicator doesn't work then do not use it anymore at that time right so this is important concept that I learned from BNF and also Ichimoku too and lastly I believe if you know what to do and how to do plus if you have the enthusiasm or a grit to do then everything becomes possible it's been my philosophy of my life and that's why I don't give up until things come true so thank you for watching the video until the end oh one quick announcement is that the uh, my GTS class uh, between uh, April to June is fitting soon so if you're interested please come to my website and um, look at this uh, information about my GTS class so once again thank you for watching until the end if you liked this video please press a good button and I will keep creating this video about BNF and also other uh, famous and legendary Japanese traders I would like to talk about so thank you for watching again until the end so until I see you next time please stay healthy and stay gold all right bye for now Matane. thank you everyone <laughs>